friends. It's so good to see you at our Insta Chapel service on this first Sunday in the season of Lent. Now, hopefully many of you were able to join us on our live stream services for Ash Wednesday. Um, but if not, then we're glad that you can be with us as we begin our Lenten journey. And maybe today is that first day of your journey through Lent. We have lots of fun activities and things coming your way. Uh, we hope that you'll be able to join us for some of those as well. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted in the desert, come to help those of us who face many temptations. You know our weaknesses but let each one of us find you strong to save through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading comes from the Gospel according to Mark. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. With you I am well pleased. And the spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild beasts and the angels waited on him. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. So there's a lot packed into this scripture reading today. Once again, we're hearing about Jesus' baptism. And then, right after he's baptized and blessed, it says that he's driven out into the wilderness. So I want you to think about that idea of the wilderness for just a little bit. And I want you to think about times when you have been out in the wilderness. Now, I can share my own story that I was not a big... Uh, I was not all that interested in camping uh, as a young child. But when I got a little bit older, I had an opportunity to go with a youth group uh, to go camping up in the mountains in Pennsylvania. And when we decided to go camping together, you know, we realized that we had a pretty big group of, of kids. We were all young adults. We went out into the woods, uh, probably about 12 of us. We had a bunch of adult chaperones. And at first, we were super excited, as anybody would be, because this was an adventure for us. This was something totally new. We were leaving our comfortable homes. We were gonna be roughing it. Um, there was no electricity. There was no hot water. There was no place to shower. And we were out there for four days. And so it didn't take a whole lot of time for us to sort of lose our excitement about that. And I have to tell you, after a day or two of sleeping on the cold ground, of being freezing at night and just not being able to get warm, after a few days of eating food that we prepared around a campfire um, that really didn't taste very good, I really began to miss home. I missed sleeping in my nice warm bed. I missed the meals that my mom would prepare for us at night. Um, and it was really a time where once I got to the end of those couple of days, I was pretty cranky. And I can tell you that I was tempted to get whiny and I was tempted to complain a whole lot. And I probably did along with a whole bunch of my other friends that were on this trip. And even the adults, you could see, were starting to get pretty frustrated. 
And sometimes they get a little snippy with us because we wouldn't stop complaining. We weren't, you know, everybody was wondering, when can we get a hot shower? We miss the warm water. We just want to wash our hands in, under a faucet rather than in a local stream or, um, you know, with whatever water we had at the campsite. And as much fun as we had, by the end of those just four days, we were ready to go home. And so I want you to think about Jesus going into the desert. Only he didn't go for four days. He went for 40 days. And so the Gospel of Mark doesn't tell us a whole lot about how Jesus was tempted. But if you've ever been camping out in the wilderness and at the end of just a few days, you felt tempted to get mad at somebody. Maybe you um, want an extra snack that you grab from your mess kit. Um, who knows what it might be? But I guarantee you that you would have faced some temptations and Jesus would have too, because Jesus was the son of God. Jesus had the power of the Holy Spirit in him. And in one of our other gospels, it tells us that Satan tempted Jesus and basically said, if you're the son of God, Jesus, then you can leave this place. You can uh, be in power and do anything you want. But Jesus was there because the Holy Spirit led him there. And in some places it says that Jesus was tested. But at the end of that 40 days, Jesus made it without giving into that temptation, without falling into sinful practices and doing things that um, lots of us might do at the end of a really long time away from home. So he didn't give in. And so I want you to think about that as you go through the season of Lent. Now, probably you've talked a little bit about um, what you might give up during this season of Lent. And that's usually a pretty uh, typical thing that we do as kids. We might give up dessert. You might give up TV or a cell phone or some other, uh, you know, special thing for us. But part of giving up things for Lent is kind of like going into our own wilderness. It's going into a place without the things that we enjoy, that keep us comfortable. And in that way, we're a little bit like Jesus because we're going without, just like Jesus did in the desert. And you might face temptations about the things that you're giving up. You might be tempted to sneak a dessert one night or watch some TV, maybe when your parents aren't paying attention. But this practice of giving things up helps us to feel closer to Jesus, to experience the things that Jesus experienced in the wilderness. And so keep that in mind as you go through your holy season of Lent. May God be with you on your journey. Let us pray. Most merciful God, we thank you that you invite us on this journey into Lent with Jesus at our side. We ask for your strength that we do not fall into temptation. And we also ask for your grace and your pardon that we may be cleansed of all of our sins and serve you and love you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for our Insta Chapel service here at St. John's. We look forward to having you with us next week, and we hope that you will look for all of the special ways that you can um, go through this season of Lent There'll be some great ideas coming out in a letter that's going out to all of our families, uh, and that'll be copied in an email as well. And you may find some great ideas in our epistle each week and on our website. But there's lots of wonderful things that you can do to go and journey with Jesus throughout the next 40 days. Thanks for joining us once again. Have a blessed and peaceful day.